Hello everyone, let's talk about making Blurb wall art in Adobe InDesign. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure that you have the plugin installed. Now, for those of you existing plugin users, you will have a mandatory auto update, which will give you access to the new wall art creator. For those of you who are new users, I need to show you where the download for the plugin is. So if we go to blurb.com and I go to the design tool tab, underneath that you will see Adobe InDesign. And if I click on that, up comes the page where you can download and install the plugin, which is right here. You would click download the plugin and install it. So let's go here. Let me hide this and go over to Adobe InDesign. So I've installed the plugin. I go to the file menu and in Adobe InDesign at the bottom, you will see both the Blurb book creator and also the new Blurb wall art creator. So if I click on that, InDesign will do its thing and up comes the wall art creator. And this is really your command center for creating wall art projects. This is a four step process and I'm just gonna walk through these one at a time. So step one is to create a new project. So I hit this and I go to step two, which is asking for project details. Now I'm just gonna label this test and it's telling me it's a wall art project. I'm gonna choose my material. I've got acrylic canvas and metal. I'm just gonna go for canvas. And then it's asking me to choose a size. So watch what happens. If I choose a size here, and let's say I go to 1114, down below here, it's giving me a real-time cost for what I have ordered in US dollars or a variety of other currencies. So watch what happens if I go to eight by 10. My cost changes in real time. This is very handy. So basically it lets you keep in mind what you're going to spend on your wall art project. So I'm just gonna stay with eight by 10. And the third step is to create the template. I'm gonna go ahead and hit create, save it to the desktop and just let InDesign do its thing. And what it's doing now is it's creating my wall art document. And the wall art creator screen is still here. But for now, because my document's here in the background, we're done with this for now. So just for now, we're going to come back to it. But I'm going to hit done. And here I am staring at my wall art document, my 8x10 canvas wall art object that I'm about to work on. And there's a few things here I want to bring your attention to, some very critical information. Up here at the top, you're going to see three color-coded items, and these are basically guidelines for you to remember. So the first is the red line around the outside of the document here. This is the final file size bleed line. This is where this, the canvas will be cut. It's a very critical area, so make sure that you're not putting anything uh, supremely important right on the edge of this line. The second black is the page size trim line here, and third, the magenta is the margin safe art boundary. But let me zoom in here a minute and show you a couple of other things that are here. Here in the middle, this is nice. It's just a reminder of what I'm creating. It's a wall art piece. It's 8 by 10 and it's canvas. And down below, there's also some more critical information. I have my product details here. It's telling me it's a 370 GSM canvas, semi-gloss finish, etc. But right here is a very critical part of this when you're making a canvas print. It says for full bleed coverage, be sure to extend your design out to the bleed line, which is here. One and a half inches of outer edge will wrap around the frame. So let me reduce this and show you. What that means is this last inch and a half right here is what is going to wrap around the outside of your canvas. So you can utilize this space here for artwork. Just make sure that you know that this is going to be the part that wraps around the last inch and a half. And that's what that reminder is. So let's go here. I'm going to go and create an image container that is the size of that final bleed line. And then I'm going to put an image in there. I'm going to choose something from my desktop. And for the sake of the test, I'm going to go up here to object to fitting, and I'm going to put fit, fit content to frame. So now what I've done is I've, I've literally filled my entire canvas all the way to the edges of that final file size bleed line. So this last inch and a half I know is going to wrap around the outside of the canvas. Now, if I want to take a preview, I can hit shift W and get a very clean look at my file. And I think, you know, that looks, that looks pretty good. I think this, this, these last rows here are gonna look really nice wrapped around the canvas. So I hit escape and go back. And now I'm ready. I'm ready to basically upload my print. So I go back to the file, file menu, go to blurb wall art creator, and up comes our familiar screen. So we created our project, we gave it detail, we created the document, and now I'm ready to order. So I'm gonna hit upload, and I'm gonna get a message that says, do you want to save this? And absolutely, I want to save this. I'm ready. And this will now begin the process for pre-flight and upload to my account at Blurb. And once this is uploaded, I'll be able to find it in my account at Blurb and may place my order. And that is how you make wall art in Adobe InDesign.